Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here. I'm in my little Toyota GR Yaris, and I think this car is really good and in great condition. But is it really? Well, I'm going to find out because I'm taking it somewhere to get part of it checked over and assessed to see just how good the condition really is. You see, I paid quite a lot for this car. I bought it from Toyota directly, and it costs £35,500 with about 5,000 miles on the clock. So it's a little bit more than list. So I'm hoping it's tip top, but it might not be. We're going to find out. Also, I'm going to get something done to it. I'm going to get it enhanced, but probably not in the way that you expect. <laughs> I've come to Expel in Biggles Way to get a PPF wrap on my Toyota GR Yaris, but not just any PPF wrap. It's going to be a little bit different. Also, I'm going to get my paint checked, see if it's any good. I'm here with Morgan Brady, who's going to be looking after my car. What are we going to do to it first? First, we're going to take it in, wash it, fully decontaminate it, get the paint ready for PPF, so that getting all these tar, tar spots off the paint, so it's like a perfect finish. Do you know what that is? Bird poo, probably. Oh, that's bee sh is it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of bees where I park it. I think that's bee poo. Yeah. I had actually cleaned it myself and I've, I actually buff it up with some kind of like ceramic spray, which beads for like a day or two. So PPF is going to protect it against any stone chips. It's oh. going to self heal if you scratch it and these like sort of swell marks. But then we'll ceramic coat it on top as well. So our ceramic coating's got a four year guarantee on it. So it lasts a lot longer than two days. What I'd like you to do is have a look over this car and just grade the actual condition of the paint, of the bodywork. You know, I've been doing the two bucket technique, trying to make sure that I don't scratch it, but it'd be interesting to see whether it's good or not. This is Greg, and Greg, you do what here? Uh, so I am one of the PPF installers here at Expel. Um, so I'll be hands-on with the car, installing the film, getting your car protected. So you have a lot of experience uh, looking at the bodywork of cars and the paint finish. So what I'm yep. going to get you to do is grade my paint. Before we do that, when the guys were washing the car, obviously there's a beautiful thing with the snow foam, which looks gorgeous. Then when they were cleaning it off, they were using this little, like, little brush. What, what's that brush for? It's like, you know, like the, uh, my girlfriend uses for a foundation. Oh, like the little foundation yeah, brush? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was it? So the purpose of the foundation brush is to get into all of these sort of nooks and crannies just in case there's any debris or anything like that that's trapped under the rubbers or anything like that because it's a wet application so when we're spraying our solutions on the last thing we want is um, dirt grit or anything like that to be pulled out of these rubbers and straight under the film because at that point it's a redo oh god okay so it's a bit like when you're fitting your mobile phone screen protector if there's like bits of lint and stuff go on it you put your screen protector on just looks rubbish, doesn't it? Exactly, and then it, it's a redo. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get down to looking at this paintwork though. Start yep. with a bonnet. Yep, bonnet, so a high impact area. So this should show pretty much any sort of stone chips up or anything like that. So you've seen a bit of road contamination here. That's pretty much just from either you driving it here or just the mileage of the vehicle. But that's easy to remove. How will you remove that? Yep, so removing this would be quite simple using a clay bar or uh, any sort of tar and glue remover, which is again, another part of the process we use. So we'll get all of that stuff off before we, um, before we go to apply the film. Can you see any like imperfections like scratches or, or stone uh, chips? Aside from the contamination, the only one is the little scratch just up there I see. Oh yeah, yeah, do, do you know I did that? Go on. I was using a jet wash and I always like blast the brush off with the jet wash to clean it so there's no like bits of grit when you're rubbing it over the car. Yep. But when I was doing it, I kind of lost my balance and somehow just whacked the nozzle, which is metal, <laughs> of it and it like made this little, that, that bit there, yeah. <laughs> so when you put the film on, will that cover that up? Uh, yeah, it should do because the film itself has a self-leveling adhesive. So any sort of like light marks in it, it should um, sort of almost like fill the gaps. Can you see anything else here at the front? Uh, the only thing other thing that I noticed majorly was you've got a few stone chips here just on the very front of your bumper. Oh, so I have, yeah. Oh dear. Do you know what I should have done? As soon as it like left the factory, I should have got it and sent it to be PPF. However, I've been running it like for about a year or so, round tracks right. and stuff like that. Considering that, what does it look yeah, like? Yeah, so considering the fact it's done track work, it's actually not too bad. Because usually if you're behind someone, then stones, gravel, all sorts of stuff, easily pinged up and... I'm never behind someone, I'm always in front. <laughs> Fair enough, take your word for it. <laughs> right, so front, all right. Yep, front, not too bad, considering the fact the mileage and what you do with it. Right, and Greg, we're gonna look at the driver's side, so is there anything you can see here? Yeah, so looking at the driver's side here, what we can see is got a little bit of impact on the mirror. 
bit of a stone chip there. Yeah, again, front of the vehicle, high impact area, bound to receive something on a car of this mileage. Mm -hmm. uh, little mark on the door. Uh, the actual arch as well on the vehicle looks looks good. Uh, moving on to the door, got a few little little blemishes in the paintwork there, so like little scratches. I've never noticed those. Oh. Could be anything from like car park or just people walking past it. So we'll go ahead and uh, do a decontamination on these as well, just see if we can reduce them. Uh -huh. But the film itself should cover. And hide it. And hide it, yeah. Brilliant. So you don't have to worry about it. So don't need to polish it. Don't need to polish it up, no, nothing like that. Great. So looking at the, again, the rear arch, which is probably again, one of the highest points of impact. You have, to be fair, not a lot going on here. So that's pretty straight. But your little factory piece of PPF from Toyota. It's so thin. I mean, what's that gonna do? Not a whole deal, to be fair. <laughs> I think they were trying to copy Porsche, but got it wrong. Yeah, got it wrong, because Porsche has like a big panel. Very big one. Whereas this is like a little bit. It's like, I think some stones may just go there. That's the only place they're going to go. Also, it's very, very thick. Is your film that thick? No, our film isn't, uh, isn't this thick. It is probably a tidbit thinner, but it still gives a um, high level of protection. So this is like your extra safe condom, and yours is more like the feather light. Exactly. <laughs> okay, at the back then, Greg. Anything you spotted here? So just seeing on the back, it's just mainly like your road contamination and stuff like that, kicked up from the back of the vehicle, oh. comes up, sticks to the vehicle. Again, decontamination will take a lot of that out. So I wouldn't say there's anything too, too nasty to worry about on the back of the vehicle. I was worried that this would all be scratched, but it doesn't seem too bad, does it? No, gloss black trims on the vehicle, very easy for scratching. Um, so the great thing about the film as well is it's gonna like, again, level that out and it's gonna keep it looking Shiny. pretty much brand new. Outside. Excellent. Finally then, Greg, the passenger side, anything here? So again, mirror, tiny little mark on there, bound to happen. Uh, arch on this side again, very, very good. Door itself, not too bad. Tiny little sort of again, blemish, mainly road dirt and stuff like that. Oh, that'll come off. Oh, look here, ah. And then yeah, you've got another little touch up just there. Mm. And that there definitely is a door ding <laughs> for looking at it. <laughs> so someone's uh, been very considerate and opened the door on you. Aside from that really on the arch, there was just that blemish there, mm -hmm. which again could come off with a, with a good decontamination, good clay bar. I think this is going to be a very nice car to work on. Okay then, overall then, out of 10, what do you think of the condition of the paintwork on my GI Yaris? I'd go with 7 out of 10. I know you guys also work on like supercars and stuff. Yep. Would you say the paintwork on this Toyota GR Yaris is better than a Ferrari? I would do, yeah. Really? I've worked on a fair few Ferraris and one thing I can say is the paint. Some models is fine. Yeah. But I know certainly stuff like 488s and stuff like that, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> Toyota paint is better than Ferrari paint. And now we're going to make it even better with the PPF, which it's going to be a little bit different than your normal PPF, isn't it? Just a bit. Hey, right, I'm going to leave the car with you. I'm going to head off in a slightly different car, but it's also Japanese and it's very new. So here it is then. It's the new Honda Civic. Never seen it before. Well, apart from in pictures. It doesn't look quite as fussy as the old version. Inside, let's have a quick look. Seems quite nice. Don't think it's going to be as fun to drive as my GI Yaris, but maybe the Type R version will be. Anyway, I'm going to head off, give it a drive and be back in a week. One week later. I'm back at Expel to collect the car. I've actually turned up in the new MG4. I'm going to show you around it very quickly because this car has blown me away, just very quickly. So the interior quality is really nice. Lovely two-spoke steering wheel, decent infotainment system, big digital driver display. Very cool, interesting design. And real world range is about 222 miles. Looks cool as well, I'll show you the outside. Look at that, I mean, Really interesting, sporty design. They've smashed it out of the park with this. They really have. And it's great fun to drive as well. Starts from £25,000. And this one with all the kit on it is £30,000. It's rear wheel drive with 204 horsepower. I've loved driving it here. Hopefully, I'm going to love driving my Yaris back even more. With that in mind, let's go check it out. Here we go then. Quite excited. What's this car going to be like? And like I said, there's a bit of a surprise with it. So let's go and check it out. This is Ian Fraser Hello. from Expel. Hi, Ian. Hi. You good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good. Should we go see the car then? Let's go and have a look. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. A bit nervous. Am I going to like it? Am I going to like it? I'm pretty sure I will. You're going to check it out with me, OK? So I'm just going to turn the camera around now. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> right, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, 
but I've had a special PPF on it, which is called Stealth, isn't it? Stealth, yeah. And what that does is give it a matte finish. So I have a matte GR Yaris, because I'm matte. Obviously, it makes total sense, doesn't it? Can you see that? It's semi-transparent, so you get the pearl effect coming through. So it looks like the really expensive matte paints that they get on Mercedes, yeah. the ones that bird poo absolutely ruin if you don't clean it off quickly. But because this is PPF, that's not an issue, is it? No, fully protected from bird droppings, stone chips, anything that the, uh, the world can throw at it. It's now protected for 10 years. 10 year protection. Now, I am blown away by this. I wasn't sure whether to go with it, Matt, or not. I really, really wasn't. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like, this is so good. So pleased with that. I love it. Now, I wasn't sure whether to remove the wrap on the roof because it's got carbon underneath it, but I have seen a car that's had it done. And while it is forged carbon underneath, it's not to the same standard or quality as I've seen on things like a Lamborghini Performante. Surprise, surprise. So I've decided to keep this on to keep the car original because still underneath this PPF, it is original. This is insane. You probably guessed that I'm rather pleased with this PPF on the car. It's, it's just, it's amazed me. I didn't know it would be this good. It just works so well. Why is it, what, how? <laughs> Everything, it just basically, the stealth film obviously gives it that lovely finish and with the pearlescent paint, just makes it pop. So the, the stealth film, it has like a kind of, what? Cloudy it's like effect. a mottled effect. So it's completely transparent. All that is showing is what's underneath. It's just giving it that nice satin finish. Um, and like you say, it looks like it's just been painted satin. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So what happens is it does let some of the undercoat through so you can actually see through it. It's semi-transparent, isn't it? Yep. And I know you've got a white car, but yours is flat white. Yep. It, it looks good, but with the pearl... <laughs> not as good. It, it's not <laughs> as good, honestly. If you have got a pearl white GR Yaris, come here, get this done, because it, it is amazing. Tell you the truth, I, I was really umming and ahhing of which colour to go with the GR Yaris. I love the black one, I like the red one, I like the pearlescent white one. And sometimes I wish that I had the red, sometimes I wish I had the black. But now, 100% glad I have the pearl white because this is this is one of my favorite finishes on any car ever and I've seen a lot of posh paint jobs I told you it would the black bits though they are in gloss so this is PPF right yep so this is our ultimate plus paint protection gloss uh -huh. and then obviously the stealth is on every single painted part of the car basically is there a difference in price between having it done in that compared to doing it in the stealth so if you did it all in ultimate plus gloss you're talking like 4k okay four thousand pounds four thousand pounds plus the that yeah in the stealth four and a half Let's move down the front a bit. I noticed a little thing here where there's a slight difference in tone, ever so slightly, because that's plastic, that's metal. I didn't really notice it before on the car, but I probably didn't look at it that closely. Yeah. So this is just the finish of the car. Yeah. That's just showing it through. Now, obviously in here, being the artificial lighting, you re it really emphasizes it. If we drive it outside, oh, you, won't, you won't see it. Have you, have you done the headlights? So yeah, that's again, the ultimate plus on the headlights, protecting everything. Well, you need to get stone chips on your headlights. Yeah, okay. oh, Saves you replacing the whole thing, because you can't repair them. They just seem to shine a bit more. Yes, yeah, so that's the suit, it's the glossy effect of our Ultimate Plus. Yeah. It almost enhances it. Ah, because like, yeah, all the black bits that you've done. Yeah. They're shiny, have you, have you done? So these bits, no, because there's that texture. Yeah. The PPF won't sit on it. Okay. Plastic, but all these little intricate bits. The texture where it's trying to look like carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like the roof. <laughs> Um, but yeah, all of these bits, yeah. all protected, and then obviously the stealth that you can see. It's really nice, isn't it? The contrast between the shiny and the stealth. Makes between the, the stealth Yeah, yeah, it really is good. So PPF, obviously, unlike a wrap, it sits on top, doesn't it? So yeah. just sits ever so slightly on top. So if you know what to look for, and you look really hard, oh, I still can't see, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you get right in there. Yeah, right, oh yeah, right, look at that, oi. Look at that little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where, because of our DAP system, so we template all the patterns in-house uh -huh. and we make it like this. So we don't want people to see it, but it is paint protection. Uh -huh. It is there to protect the car, but yeah, you just can't. Do you know what? I can see a little <laughs> chip there that I didn't notice the first time we came yeah. around, so which was, was yeah, so basically. Get it done from new. Yeah, get it done, <laughs> from, get it done from new. But this will stop the car aging its bodywork, won't it? Which is really good. Should have had that, some of that on my face. So there's a big thing about whether to do the, the roof on the car. Some people remove this, this horrible 
fake carbon fiber wrap and underneath it is sort of forged carbon it's like the forged carbon the things when you take it off it's not flat so yeah. you have to like polish it back and then you can put the this one, gloss finish the okay. ultimate plus over the top so i've seen someone that had done that yeah. and the forged carbon isn't like the forged carbon that you might expect on something like a lamborghini performante it's a it's it, uh, there's a reason why they cover it up yeah. and i think i'm going to leave it covered up obviously fully protected all the way up not just a sorry little. i'm just like caressing the carpet it's isn't? nice and soft yeah so it's been fully fusion ceramic coating as well which gives it that kind of slick soft feel and yeah <laughs> or i'm just feeling my car like some kind of weirdo you know what's going to happen though last car i had ppf it was a gymney i drove it home it rained i know the forecast is saying it's going to rain so it's just classic isn't it the good thing is you'll see the like super hydrophobic element so i'll all get the beading will bead off and yeah nice right let's let's move to the back see what's going on around here Okay, so you can really see the gloss here on this part. Oh, I just dug my nail across it and scratched it. That'll heal, self-heal. It heals? Yeah. How does it heal? So the, the self-healing element is the top 5% of the film. Yeah. So as scratches, whether someone rubs the keys across it, you scratch it through a hedge. Uh -huh. A little bit of heat, whether it be the sun, if it was a couple of months ago, yeah. hot water, that then brings it back together. They self-heal, basically disappear in front of your eyes. Do you know what? I'm really, really liking this. I didn't know that i'd like it as much as i do it's yeah I, I had no doubts like i told you you'd like it i've got the coolest looking toyota gr yaris i've come to evolve automotive in luton to see my friend imran because we're going to be doing a video on some certain bmws now to make sure you don't miss out what that's all about subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon okay video will be going live soon I also thought I'd come here to show him my stealth PPF because he's also got a GR Yaris. What will you think of it? You probably noticed it's, it's raining. Thing is though, I'm not so worried about the rain because as well as the stealth PPF, it's got fusion plush ceramic coating. So we're getting some lovely beading. Look at the water just drip off there. Look, uh, look at all that beading, lovely beading. Anyway, that's probably enough of that. I'm here with Imran. Imran. Yes, man. I've done something to my car. What have you done? Now have a look at it. Have a look. look what's you different? Wrapped it. No, I haven't. What? I haven't wrapped it. It's not, it it's looks white, but it's not the correct white. You've sat in PPF'd it. Uh, you have. He's got you? it. He's got <laughs> it right. Have, yeah. I've sat in PPF'd it. It's called Stealth. It looks really good. It's so good, yeah, isn't it? It's really good. Because you've got yours in like a satin Matt finish. Black. Matte black, yeah. yeah. Is that a PPF? No, it's a wrap. This is better. Yeah, that does look really good. <laughs> I thought you were going to go, no. <laughs> it's really but... smart. It, it does look really good. It's, it's, you can't see it so well because obviously it's just rained. Classic. It's yeah. rained. Um, it's got a uh, ceramic Fusion Plus coating on it. So look at that. Yeah, it's just beading off. It's nice oh, though. The colour looks fantastic. It's almost like a pearl kind of colour. Yeah. yeah. It looks really good. Because obviously I've got the pearl paint. Yeah. And when you put the shadow over the top of it, it just, it, it's not those expensive Mercedes finishes. Yeah, it but, looks really good. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So. I wasn't sure, black or white for the car. No, that's a good choice. It is, isn't it's it? A good choice. <laughs> but I see you haven't... No, I didn't do the roof. roof. No, yeah. I didn't do the roof. I so look, you. so I saw one and oh, it's kind of uneven, the finish on it. Yeah, and it's, it's not good. like the, the, the forged carbon that you see on hypercars or supercars. You think it's going to be like, it's not, it's just a mess, isn't yes. it? It's just like they put it together. There's a I'm reason. Glad you didn't do that. There's a reason why they covered it. Yes because it looks rubbish. Anyway, you like the matte finish? Yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah. One last person I need to get their opinion on this car and it's my girlfriend, Joe and baby Grace. Look, say hello. Go hello. She's not a performing monkey. Anyhow, can you tell what's different about the car? Look at it, look at it, look at it. It looks more matte and more pearly. More pearly and more matte. No, I really like it. Do you prefer it than it was before? Was that the baby just farting? Yes. <laughs> it was. That's wasn't, what Grace thinks it of it. It wasn't me. It was Grace. <laughs> so Grace thinks it's... Um, what about you though, Joe? Do you like it? No, I really like it. Come on, have a feel so of what, it. What have, they done, what have they done to it? So have a feel of that. What have, what have they done to it? So they've put a PPF wrap on it. So it's semi-transparent and it makes it look matte. So you can see the paint underneath, the pearl paint underneath, but it's like dulled slightly to give this matte effect. So it's a clear... It, it's top. it's semi-transparent hence the matte effect but it goes over the top and it protects it so from stone chips and stuff like that but it also makes it look cooler do you agree yeah i do really like it grace do you want to try as well i think grace likes it as well 